Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Well, today we're going to be playing and testing the Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, this game which was very very popular back in I think 2013 and that was also coincidentally 10 years ago. So this is a good time to check it out and it was also free on Epic Games Store like earlier this year. So yeah, I wanted to make this earlier but my computer, uh, blue screen, etc. is bad. But anyway, we're here now and we're going to be testing the Intel HD Graphics 4600 and I'm going to be using the MSI Afterburner right here to view the stats and everything which you can see on the top corner and if you're interested in the full specification of the test bench it's right below the like button yeah, and while you're down there make sure to subscribe so you won't miss when I do more of this video and yeah only 0.7% of people are actually subscribed so that would help a lot anyway a lot of talking let's just get into the game now as you can see we're going to settings first because I have actually played it in the background before I do this to just to check if I can record it and everything and I found the best combination for the settings here as you can see i'm using 720p right now let's apply that there you go it reset i don't know why it reset every time but yeah 720p is the best with all of the settings which as you can see right now copy this if you want to have the maximum performance to graphics ratio anyway let's just accept this right now and have actually played the let's do start game here that's actually training which i'll do the training because i don't really know this game and i want to know so let's just do the tutorial actually and I've done the basic one, so let's just get into the intermediate construction. There we go. As you can see, this is also the new format of the benchmark videos. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and comment down below. What do you think? If this is a good format or not, or I should switch back to the old one. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into the game here. I won't be talking much about the FPS. You can just see it. I don't need to comment on it. Anyway, we're here with Werner von Kerman. All right. Hello again. Glad you could come back. Technically, you didn't see that. But anyway, let's get into the fab here, actually. The FPS is not bad, 30 FPS is like console experience. Vehicle assembly building. Let's get into there. Where we're gonna be building a rocket. I'm bad at talking, sorry. This video is not gonna be the greatest. Anyway, here, here we go again. Now back to business. If you remember, which you don't because you didn't see the basic tutorial. In our last construction tutorial, we covered how to build a simple, okay, a simple airship. Let's get into here. Um, let's just click open. Here gonna be the hopper. All right, let's just load. Okay, little tiny ship. Not bad, not bad. What we gonna do now is remove its motor here. Just put it right there. Next. And now what we're gonna do is gonna put on this thing. I'm gonna put it on 0.75. Okay, that's a lot. Let's do next. There you go. And next we need to change our name first. Okay, what? What? What should we name this? I guess um, I space. Why not? This is. Apples, this is Tim Cook's next airship. Hey, get away, Jeff Bezos, you got a competition. Anyway, here we gonna go to the science app. Alright, where is it? This one. We're gonna put some what is this? Next. Okay, we gotta change this thing. I guess is this it? Okay, like that, right? There you go. Now what we gonna do is put two of these. Show. Sure. Put it there, I guess. Okay, you can move that. Get get out of there, okay. I actually didn't put two of them. Bruh. There you go, two of them. And what are we gonna do now? Okay, let's go to coupling here. I think that's the coupling is blocking the fuel. Let's put it on the bottom here. There you go, looking good, looking good. All right, now what we gotta do is, uh, okay, just next, I guess. There you go. We gotta do the stage, but it's already done, so we don't need to do it. Add some fuel tanks. All right, where is the fuel tanks? Uh, we go to fuel, where's fuel? Fuel tank. There you go. I gotta do is out. Okay. Out. Boom. Oh yeah, that is handy. Put five of that. There you go. Looking good. This is our rocket right now. Go to engines. Okay, sure. Where is the engines? This is this is so blocking the fuel. Okay, I found it. It's right there. Anyway, let's put it on the bottom. Nice. And we gotta put it on four. Okay, sure. And we go to aerodynamics. Where is it? Uh, it there. We'll put some fins into there. I think that's a good place for it. There we go. And wow, we're done now. This is the end of this tutorial, I think. Yep. And you can just, I don't know, put some extra wings on there if you want to. Never mind. I'm, I'm breaking my own ship. Bruh. Anyway, the FPS looking good right now, but this is too short. Let's get into the next tutorial. All right, we're on our next tutorial now called Suborbital Flight, where we're actually gonna fly our plane. We made our plane, well, it's this airship, rocket ship, whatever you wanna call it. And yeah, we are here on the 
field right now. This is our launch pod here. Hello again. Glad you could make it back. Hello, Jean. Carmen. Why are you all named Carmen? Are you the same family or something? Anyway, here we just go quick next, I guess. Okay, that's a lot of thing to flight plan. Okay, I don't want to read it. I'm a gamer. Gamer don't read it. Okay, yeah. this next. Okay, this is important though. Left shift is throttle up. Okay, sure, that is great. Control is down. Okay. Z is max and X is cut off. Pretty handy to know, right? All right, let's do next now. What we're gonna do now is click F or you can do T. And this is the SAS, which stands for Stability yeah, Augmentation boy. System, which is like OIS, oh, okay? It's like stabilizing our ship right here, which is also pretty handy. So thank you for that. What we're gonna do now is set our throttle to two and a third. Okay, sure. Right there, I think is enough. Boom, and yeah, turn on the SAS and let's do next. All right, what we're gonna do here? There's a warning, okay, sure. We need to know that. Okay, enough talk, it's time. It's time guys to fly to space. Are you ready? I'm gonna be the next Jeff Bezos here. Going to space with our uh, very good shape rocket here. Okay, nothing like the Jeff Bezos one, but it's a pretty good shape. All I gotta do now, I guess to click space. I'm ready, it's time to press space. One, two, three, boom, to the moon or to the atmosphere, I guess. I don't know where we're going. Okay, it's time to start turning. Okay, we're gonna go 80 degrees. Show. Sure. Put on 80 degrees. That is not 80 degrees. That is 80 degrees. Put on the target one, actually. There you go. Very nice. Good work. Thank you, Jean Kerman. There's also a little pilot here. Hello there. How are you doing? Okay, we got to turn it slightly to 70 degrees. Show. Sure. Okay, that's a bit hard to do. I'm not the greatest pilot. Let's turn off this, actually. So it's easier for me to do. Uh, 70 degrees, right? 70 degrees. Is that on it? I, I did it. Hey, hey, hey. What? There you go. It's back on target, I guess. Excellent work. We now got our rocket. Now let's just throttle to full power and let's just hang out, I guess. There you go. The FPS is dropping quite a lot, actually, but you know, this is a rocket flying to space with a lot of effects. That's why it's on 70 FPS. Also, there's a lot of RAM usage, so if you want to play this, make sure you have a lot of RAM because it's using 8 gigs right now. I have 12 gigs on my system. So, yeah, make sure of, to keep an eye on that. What are you gonna do now? Uh, oh, we can press M to view the map. Oh, hey, is this us? Kerbal XX. I guess this is us right now. We're going to this, I guess. Is this our target? Get away, you're kind of blocking the field. Carbine apoapsis. Okay. Let's just next, I guess. And now we are just get away. Okay. Well, um, in the meantime, I guess we can talk about the performance here. For the FPS 50, I guess. I seen 50, but lowest right there when I'm launching to space is 17. Not that bad. It's still very playable and very fun game. And yeah, let's just wait, I guess, until we hit this thing, which is gonna be a long time, so I guess I'm just gonna cut it out, okay? Okay. Oh, well, we... Oh, what to do in space? We got a new thing right here. We didn't even make it to the apopsis. Uh, what we gotta do here is do the experiment. Hey, what gotta do here is... Right, okay, get away, please. I just wanna spin my uh, camera. There you go. Now, observe Mr. Goo. There you go. Let's observe this Goo <laughs> here. All right. Mr. Goo observation while in space near Kerbin. The Goo seems to have clumped up into a spear. It also appears to have become brittle. Sure, let's skip the experiment. What about the other one here? Maybe it's different? Who knows? Maybe it's a different type of Goo. Uh, it's still the same. Okay. And I guess Kerbin is the name of Earth in this universe, I guess. But yeah, we are getting closer now to the apopsis, so let's just wait a bit. The FPS here actually is very high, 100. That's a lot of FPS right there. And we are getting very, very close to the apopsis. What we're gonna do now? The Orion. Okay, sure. Uh, what we're gonna do here? Uh, okay, we got the SAS on. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you, SAS. You're such a lifesaver. Okay, now we're gonna hold steady. Sure. And get the couple. How to decouple? Is this the decouple one? I think this is the couple one. How to decouple? There you go. There you go. We did. I'm a greatest astronaut. Yeah, sure. Okay, we got our next one here. It's time to turn off the SAS and let the air do the walk. Sure, let's turn it off by pressing T, I think. There you go, our little airspace here is still in space. Um, above 70,000 meters right now. Ooh, what the? What is happening right now? Uh, can, you can trust me? Just take the shoot now? Shoot, shoot. There you go. Awesome. So while we set your shoot to not actually semi-deploy until around 2 kilometers, 
we do as you need to ensure it okay just pick that i guess and you're blocking you're blocking the fuel sorry can can you move there you go there you go safe to deploy is risky so don't deploy it right now because if you do you're gonna die anyway here we're not uh touch anything as he said so let's just wait again let's just cut that's a lot of cutting okay this is just a very long tutorial okay guys i found a way to cheat the system i am spinning so fast right now oh my god i'm gonna die here but it's going down really fast right now i'm going out in speed son yeah i'm gonna keep spinning because it speeds up the progress i guess i don't need to wait 20 hours for this to drop it's good we are adrenaline and then pilot here is enjoying the fun yeah a lot of fun here okay we are going to 2000 meters now okay here we go the shoot is away there you go we're safe we're back to Kirbin. earth yeah same thing anyway now we're gonna be enjoying the view right now and i think that's gonna be the end of the video um this is going very long actually um i've been recording for a long time but yeah, for the verdict, um, this game with the Intel HD graphics 4600 runs pretty well, I gotta say, like, the FPS is not bad, it's definitely playable, I'm having a lot of fun, and it looks great, it doesn't look that bad even at 720p, at the, like, medium setting, I guess, I'm not sure, but yeah, we're going slowly now, look at the curve, uh, airship guy, view, what, oh, okay, we're in the spaceship now, uh, Looks cool, this is the, you don't have much fuel though, this is the only fuel you get. Anyway, we're under 50 kilometers now, meters actually, sorry. And yeah, we got land, are we gonna land safe? Probably, right? That, oh, that's a big impact. Welcome back, and congrats on completing and surviving. Let's go. Anyway, I think that's the video now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button down below, and make sure to subscribe if you want to more want to see more of this and make sure to comment down below what do you think about this game and also what game should i benchmark next anyway that's all see you next time bye